Hey up everyone, and welcome back to the north for another episode of Battle Brothers of Flesh and Faith DLC. See, I've said it three times in a row for three episodes now, not got it wrong. It's probably going to go wrong, isn't it? Anyway, last time we left off, we had just hired Citrine King. In between the last episode and this episode, I did go and do one fight against some barbarian thralls, and we absolutely decimated them. Citrine King already has two kills from one fight. I've also decided to put him in the training hall, so he will get more experience for the next five fights, 20% to be exact. And I did sell a few things and buy a bit of food, and now we are under Grand, which is kind of um, unsettling. This only contract is going to Wolfenburg, which is not worth it, because it's so goddamn far away. So I guess I'm going to make my jolly way down to Einestead and hope for the best. And like I say, I'm going to try and switch in and out people as I go. We've got one more space, which will go to the next person on the list, which is Wongo Dongo, who wants to be a cleaver duelist. And then it's going to be a case of people are going to be jumping in as people die, which probably will happen. I imagine the late game crisis is going to kick off soon. I assume it's going to be the undead scourge because, you know, we've seen a lot of undead. I can't really imagine it would be anything else, but I don't know. Day like 75 this is usually when they start popping off, or anywhere between like 60 and 80 to be fair. This is actually quite a late, late game crisis for the first one, but hey, guess we'll find out. Have we got anything to repair? Yeah, we ain't got enough tools for that shit. My lord, are we poor. Remember when we were rich? Citrine King, you better be worth it. Right. There are no contracts here. <laughs> Not one bit. God, I really hope someone comes up to me and is like, oh, you've got some uh, witch's hair? Uh, I would like to buy it for 2,000 crowns, and I'll call him a hair simp and sell him it. You hair simp. Uh, okay, well, I already bought a round for the boys in uh, Hammerstead, and apparently the beer is so strong in Battle Brothers that two pints in one day is enough to floor someone. I would like to try that beer. Uh, I guess I'm just going to keep moseying my way around the, con around the towns and hope for the best. Oh, God, at least it's going to make us fix up a bit. Uh, nobody's really injured. Are you just thralls? Ooh! Perfect. So let's go kill some thralls very quickly and maybe show off a bit of supreme hammer... Well, supremacy. Let's go. It's a lot of dogs. It's a lot of dogs. Remember, Eldrak, don't let Cujo die now. I don't want to see you crying when he dies if you let him die. If he dies through unforeseen circumstances, then fair enough, man. But you have to look after him and let him be a good boy. Is your weapon in poor condition, or is that just the thing saying only... Yeah, okay, fine. Oh, the nets count as ranged weapons. Oh, I might as well not even have it on me. Is it affecting the old... Uh... Yeah, it is. All right, well, I guess his first thing is take off the net. Didn't even think of that being a uh, ranged weapon. Bit of a weird, bit weird, but you do throw it, I suppose. So it makes, it makes complete sense. Game, don't worry. Oh, that never makes you feel good. Okay, Wraith with your new found sword. Show me what you got. Oh my lord! We living up here. Well, they're not. Oh, poor dog. Uh, not so poor, man. Humans don't care about. Dogs, don't you dare. Oh, you can't use your... Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna... This is gonna take a hot minute. A hot minute to get used to. But it should be fine. Absolutely fine. Right. You want to smack down for 83? He's not... Well, he has a head, but it's like there and there and all the way over there. Oh, using ranged weapons, are we? I can tell you guys don't take oaths for a living. God. Eep. Eep. That's fine. Nice try. Oh, God, he's fine. Oh, that spear wall lasted, did it? <laughs> He's fine. Here come the hounds. You're right. You're stunned. My turn. See how that goes. Bink. And then... Oh. Not so much. Skylock's doing pretty good as well. Let's be, let's be fair here. Uh... An instant decapitation would have been metal as fuck, but it's not happening. Bye bye. Poor little doggy. It's another kill. Wraith is now cleaning up completely. 
Oh, that must have hurt. Gotta be a little bit sorry for these barbarians. This is payback. Yeah, you know what you did. Not you personally, but as a group, you know what you did to our friend, Coyote One. This is true payback. Nobody die. Nobody die. Hey, I paid good money for you. What are you doing? Don't you dare. Ooh. I knew that was going to hit because the game froze a bit and you sort of know. Interesting. Well, you're out. Oh, you're so close. Let's make sure you're definitely out. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Kerklonk. Do like making my own noises. Aww. Damn. Go get him. <laughs> Straight up dead. Didn't even matter. Clonk donk. Out of here. Nice try. Nice try. Nice try. But it failed. Ooh. Damn. Let's, uh, let's see this through, shall we? God, how are you not dead? You got super lucky, chummo. But now you're on your way out, innit? And there's no point sending him. Well... Go on, surround him. You got lucky this time, buddy. But it's about to run out. Like so. Well, Ugris leveled up. Hands leveled up. Yeah, alright. We got loads of throwing stuff. The smallest amount of crowns to sati satiators. Yeah, okay, fine. I'll take that. That's a solid win. A solid win. Let us level up Igris Draken, who is doing very well. 16, not bad. So that should put it to 34 with a shield, I do believe. I'll take a plus 2, because why not? And then, plus 2 in fatigue is okay. I might round off his um, resolve a bit. Like a like a flat 50 would be kind of alright for everyone. Yeah, go on then. Go on then! And he's got a hammer, so hammer mastery it shall be, my friend. And then hands, you are sticking in there pretty well, my athletic friend. Uh, take a plus three, take a plus four. Hmm, I should probably increase your range defense, but if the shield's in front of you, you should probably be okay. Famous last words, anyone. And then obviously we're going to take polar mastery. I'm liking that everyone's getting to that. Level of level where it's all masteries now. Uh, Hans, how are you doing for health? You're kind of okay. I guess you can switch out with me for a bit. I mean, give me your clothes because I'm naked, but you know. Well, maybe I'll. Uh, no, I've only got pole arm, haven't I? Yeah. Yeah, it only makes sense. What's my ranged? Terrible. Absolutely terrible. And I can't use it anyway due to the oath, so whatever. There you go, Hans. Take a load off, my friend. Uh, Steven, how's your health? 85. It's better than 40. God, you've only got 52 health overall, Baffle. Damn. There you go, Steven. Uh, and we'll hope that you get yourself fixed up in time. But actually, for the time being, I will put in Wolf of Turk until you fix up, and then I'll put you in for the next battle. Because it's not like this runs out. It just happens after four battles. So it's not like we're losing anything. Uh, where's that net? Where's the net? You won't be... Give me the net, Geji. You won't be needing that. Okay, on to the next town. Nice and easy. Simple and clean. How many tools do we need? 23. Let's see what Palmerberg's got. Sack all. That's what it's got. Oh, my lord. Sell, 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 sell. This is the stock market for Battle Brothers. Have you heard? Sell, sell, sell. Sell, 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 sell. I'll keep those. Eventually, I might have to sell the witch hair if we become that poor. Yeah, I need some tools, so fine. 47 and 29 is absolutely grand. I don't really want to afford to buy anything else, really. Um, is there anything fun to look at in the Armorsmith? 46k? 46k? Ha! <laughs> Piss off. Alright. I'll go to Horn, then up to Adlerwacht, and then down to Burgau. Hey, maybe we'll even go south today. Probably doubtful, though, because it was kind of crap last time. Let us be off. I also had a curious thought on the way to Horn. So when the late game crises happens in regular backgrounds, you can get like uh, an event or an ambition 
to stop the late game crisis. I mean, I'll say like winning slightly or it's almost over or whatever. I'm curious to see what will happen with the Oath Takers. Will they take an oath to save the world or something? Some sort of weird superhero shit? I guess we'll see, but I'm curious to find out. Please be something good. I need some money. Killing people is my business, and business is about to get booming. Thanks, Megadeth. Oh shit, it's not the Undead Scourge. Harken, harken, harken. A determination has been made between House the Noble House's Eagloff, which I think is the North one, and Goswin. They have come to conclusion all sides can agree upon. They hate one another. Yeah, standard. You have been to yourself, mate. Alright, well, I guess war's upon us. I guess it's the Noble House War, which I'm fine with, because I love this late game, late, green, yeah, late game crisis. My lord. So, let's have a look. Yeah, Egloth is the North, so that's us. And then Goswin is the Green Fly, which I'm pretty sure is where we start, Cobmanhaven. Yeah. And then it's a, a whim away. A whim away. So, we've only got four places I'm aware of. There might be one more up here, but I don't see a road anywhere. Um, I assume... By the end of the war, they might try and just take Cobmanhaven, because it's part of what I would call the Northern Peninsula. So, I don't know if there's a gap here. I assume there isn't. Might be able to get some contracts to go down south after all, but not as a good guy. Well, as a good guy to me, as a bad guy to the south, which I'm fine with. Let's do this thing for Horn, and then we'll see what noble, con um, yeah, noble contracts come up. Ah, crossbows for days. Well... Since you've done your... Oh, there's a harp. Bloody hell, how many harpo How many crossbows do you have, bro? Jeez Louise, Papa Cheese. Give me a break. Uh, sure. Get in there, Skylock. Don't die. Hmm, ballsy. Oh, I was trying to get in, so... Uh, ooh. Right, switch Wraith in. So when he goes, he goes... When he goes, he goes. Evening, fellas. Fucking beautiful. B E A beautiful. That sword is doing magic. Hey, there's a tree there. All right, boys, go around. Uh, get in. Get in. Don't release the hound yet, Eldrak. Don't get jumpy. It's okay. Don't worry, buddy. We're handling it. I think. Ah, that's a bad miss. Wow, I didn't really do that much. Ow! That did! Steven? Steven? You okay? You okay? They really hate that shield. Yeah, that was my father's shield. I think you'll find. Oh, yeah, 262s. By law of averages, that should have worked. Oh, well. That'll do. Uh. Ah, that's unfortunate. I'm a little bit worried about that. So I'm going to hold for a hot minute. Damn it. You want to go two-handed, two-handed? Yeah, why not? Why the F not? Yeah, you're not running away, mate. Stunned. And then bonked again, mate. Bonked again. Bonks to the future. Uh, can you get around so they can stop? Can you jump? Come on, Pepe. Ah, oh, you got stabbed in the guts. It's all right. Well, you hit the guy behind him, so I'll take it. Uh, A1. Walk a little bit slightly. Walk a little bit slightly? It's not really... Damn. That's concerning. Right, you're not firing unless you're reloading, in which case you might fire. No, he didn't. Nice. Cancelled. Ooh. To be fair, Steven... You're all right. You're doing okay. But I didn't actually do as much damage as I thought it might have done. All right. There's still one more crossbow at dawn. Ooh, that's a... 47, 52, 52, not quite. Decapitate him. Be beautiful. Be beautiful. Welcome to being back on form, my friend. Bet it feels pretty good right now. Uh, Steven... If you could see who play, get involved. Uh, go there. I wasn't worried. Not one bit. Oof, that looks painful. Good. It should be 
painful. And you. All right, clean up time. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Muda, muda, muda. Right, anyway. Enough of that. Dead. Dead. Oh, not dead. Now you're dead. And you. And all the generations to come from your family. All right, well, Skylar leveled up. Nice. And we got some patch mail. Okay, maybe some better armor. We got a better helmet. To be fair, and we got some better shields which could replace the one they just biffed the hell out of. So, nice. Let's go get paid and re No, you know what? I did it the one time, but I am a kind man, and I, I know I need the money. I know I need the money. But it's for Horn. And Horn are the closest in terms of, you know, penis jokes to us as the knobs. There, I said it. End scene. <laughs> Well, there's nothing left in Horn, and the only thing in Burgau is taking a letter or a package to Tiefenforce for 130. So I'm really hoping that by going here and making money on the road, which I guess I'll do, I'll hopefully find some noble contracts, which is all about, oh, you want to go destroy Copenhagen for a laugh? <laughs> yeah, why not? Or just some noble war fun, you know? Because the noble war will get us some really decent armor and stuff, especially for our two-handed guys. Um, which would be great, especially when you join some really big battles, even though they are stodgy, as you could say, like the undead ones, they're just a lot more fun than fighting the undead, I think, because it feels like it really encapsulates a fight between knights and stuff, you know? You know? I know. I know. I know you know. Okay, get 130 crowns. Hello, hello. This place goes vertigo. Let's have a look. Oh, don't. Ah, uh, don't. Game. Come on. I want to go fight in a war, man. To say that they've just started a war with another noble house, there's not really a lot of contracts going on in the northern, like, house, houses, noble contract houses. Like, nothing. It's so dead. Give me something. I mean, you've actually got a dock so you can go and attack them if you wanted to. Let me just rest and see what's here. Northern bursts into the tent with trembling hands, holding your Nansel's skull. It's broken! What? You jump out of your seat and take a look at its holy remains. There's a sliver of a crack going down the back of a skull. First doesn't look too bad, but when you stick a pinky finger in and lift, the bone splits apart. You both gasp and set the skull on the table. There's no doubt the skull could be broken apart with only a little bit more effort. What should we do? How do we fix it? You ponder the question very carefully. The last thing, the last time this happened, your Nansel's jawbone broke off, and so too did break the Oath Takers, with one group remaining as the Oath Takers, and the other forming the Savage Blasphemers, the Oath Bringers. You're not going to let that happen again. Fix it, Felix! I guess. You take a piece of string and coat it in ivy and sap, and you gently lift your Gansan's crack and run your finger down it with more sap. I'm, star I'm staring nervously. Satisfied, you then insert the string along the crack and set the skull's part back down, chomping down on the string of a sticky ivy. You stand back, looking at your work. I don't think anyone's going to notice. You actually worry that it may be preferable that they find the crack, absent of one's attempt to fix it, and deceive a handiwork of some skulking skull restorer who tried to sneak one by. Either way, it's done, and Yansan's honor has been restored. I wipe the sweat from my brow. I believe this has been a test, and that young Anselm has seen this through. His strength flows through me and no words are capable of describing the honor I feel right now. What? Yansan probably has no idea about sticky saps and ivies. He presumably knows, he knows even less that he's an unspeaking skull. But I'll interpret how I want. Well, I got more resolve and I'm determined and I'm eager. It's kind of, it's kind of weird talking about myself to myself in a third person, you know? So, uh, determined's pretty cool, isn't it? I'll tell you that. Yeah. Sick. Alright, dawn time. Give me something. Please. Ugh, it's nothing to do with the war, though, is it? But disappointments really do pile up sometimes, don't they? Don't they? Get rid of that. What do we got? Where's it going? And who do you want? Duncan Tall? Ah, oh, it's miles away. You gotta go up, and then go all the way around to here. Kind of bullshit. These guys here, right? 
Oh no, we haven't taken a side yet, technically, because we haven't taken a noble contract. Um, can I... I bet Wolfenberg's probably got something. How much did it cost to get to Cobmanhaven? No. Oh, that makes sense, actually, because they're at war with them, so I can't travel there. Guess I'll go to Wolfenburg and hope there's a noble contract to go and keep share of Cotmanhaven. Please, game. Please. Oh, hello, brigand. Brigand group. 20 men. So you assume that you are going to be better than us. But you're mostly made up of thugs. Game time, baby. Careful, you poke someone's eye out with that. What did I just say, you little assholes? Now, are you going to move? Or are you going to keep shooting me? Or rocking me. Haha! <laughs> Try it again. Not what I meant. Okay, you are moving slightly. No, okay, fine. Guess we gotta really get in there for that melee fun. Also, hi Roderick, you're in the front line today. I hope that's fine. Hmm. A lot of uh, naked heads. Shame we can't use ranged. Right? Oh, man. Ah, ranged. We'll be back with you soon. Don't worry. It's only a few more days. Go there. Stand down there. Go there. Yeah, that's really going to stop me, isn't it? Pissants. Absolute pissants. Anyway. Do, 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 do. Then we go there. And the next turn... It's all over for you guys. I assume. I mean, they're all thugs. It should be fine. Just getting to them. They've got a lot of, like, one, two, three, four, five. Five range? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Little group here, little group here. Okay, fine. Are you guys gonna come in and get involved in the melee? I don't think you would. Scared sacks of shit. Alright. Well, I guess that is the first round done. Uh, tensely moving back, are we? That's cool. Repost time. One of those rocks is gonna hit, it's gonna be really annoying. Nah. Oh! Really? You got him? Bitch. Nice one, Roderick. Who cares if you ranged? You'll still merc him. Regardless. That was like the worst shot in the world. What are you doing? Missed. Try me. Get off that hill. It's not your hill. I didn't see your name on it. Ah, buddy. On the plus side, now oh, you got a pierced chest. Really? Really? Ah, uh, I don't know what's going on there. Get your get your head in the game, son. Guys. Guys. Okay, I'm glad you dodged that. Yeah, that's not... It's not really getting through anytime soon, is it? It's just a... God, got me in the head! Nah, 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 piss off. Piss off, mate. Oh. Right, time to do some brigand deletion. In a second. Got a really right shooting Aldrak, don't they? Well, Eldrak likes stabbing brigands. You know what? Bring out Cujo. Hey, it works, because now he can't fire. Yes. Really? Better. Bloody hell. No, you can't have a ranged weapon. Get out of here. Well, a two-handed pole arm. That was a lot of routing in one go, wasn't it? <laughs> You're out. Goodbye. Oh. 
Pepe, you'll be fine. How's it going in you? Ooh, dead. Kodonk. Yeah, that's that's handled. I would count that as handled. Well, the dog definitely didn't decapitate him. I'd be a little bit worried if he did. Oh, really? Oh, really? Sneaky, are we? Well. Good dog. Good boy. Don't shoot the dog. He'll bite you in the nose or the body. Okie doke. I guess it's cleanup time. Kinda. Phew. That's what you mean by cleanup time, I guess. Ah, Pepe was fine, Skylock. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Right. Go get him. Right, you're locked down. That's fine. You go lock those two down, see what you can do. They're both running. Get around them so he can't run away. It's just going to be a game of watching them try to run and die in the process. Oh, really? Not so lucky. You're lucky. You're not. Well, damn. Oof. You guys thought she's fighting? Good boy. Oh, girl. I haven't checked. I'm not going to. Well, it's just a game that just kills as many as you can now, really, isn't it? It doesn't matter. Like, it's it's a day. We're done. But let's see if we can kill as many as we can, eh? Just for a laugh. Yeah, that's dead. He's dead. Sayonara! It's over. I don't care about that guy in the top right. He can live. Citrine leveled up, Wraith leveled up, nice, two two-handers, leveling up, loads of shit I can sell, but nothing I really want. Except, I guess I'll keep the hunting bow for the time being. For now. Well, there aren't really any ranged people uh, to add it to, as it were, but it's fine. Wow, look at that. I feel like I should, I don't know. You know what? Plus four, let's even out his uh, resolve a bit so he doesn't get absolutely murked all the time. Uh, I suppose I should steal Browin just because he's a two-hander with no shield. Although Brawny would also work. What are you what are you playing with here? 21. So, what's that? Six? So you get 83. I feel like getting crit in the head, to be honest. Citrine King? 74, 14. Flat 100 would kind of work. Yeah, flat 100, I'll take. Uh, what do you got? 16 of 31. Okay, that might be actually worth it then. How much did you go by? Yeah, I went up by nine. I'll take that. Like, Wraith will eventually get that, but, you know, not right now. And then you can get Hammer Mastery next, and it will be very fun. Hopefully we get a better Hammer as well. Right, off to Wolfenburg, where we were eventually going to go anyway. Ugh, this whole not having contracts thing is getting old really quickly, game. Really quickly. Is there anything here? No. Nope. Any? Oh. I can't really afford it. Actually, sack that. I can't afford it. Nothing of interest. No, not really. No famed items that I can just gawk at and be like, oh, that'd be cool. Except I can't afford it. So, yeah. Great. I guess I'm going somewhere else. I've been all around the north and I ain't found jack all in terms of a noble war. I guess I'm going to try and run this down and see if more appear when I take an oath to do the late game crisis is what I imagine is going to happen. We'll see. Back in a sec. Even though the late game crisis started, it just seems that brigands are just on the prowl. And there's a brigand leader, so he might have some good shit. I assume they're about to attack the crane, crane caravan. Let's just watch and observe as the mighty predator goes to attack his prey. And then let's go kill the predator because he's a weak shit bitch boy. And then get something from a training caravan for helping him out. But for some weird reason, it's actually spawned as around them instead of a different direction to, like, us coming into the fight whilst they're fighting. Which is fine, I guess. It's just that, you know, we're surrounded in a swamp. And we know who lives in swamps and doesn't like it when people come to their swamp. See, Donkey's here. It's only a matter of time before he shows up. And I don't want to be here when he comes here, you know? 
He's not a very agreeable fellow. <laughs> Who are you? The swine. Okay. We've got a winged mace, and that's kind of what I want. So, you know. I think I could probably send most of these guys down here. Good dodge. So you go up here and help out. Skylock, you stay in the middle. I would say. That, that should be fine. Uh, Wolf, you come down here. Can you do any damage if you go there? Unfortunately not. Can you do? No, but you can at least lock him down a bit. Igris, come down here. Pepe, you go there. Go there, Baffle. Rob. Stay there for a second until that guy dies. Because he's going to die. He's going to die. See? Oh, he's a two. Ah! Oh, could get the axe as well and give that to someone. That'd be good. Roderick, even though you're a ranged person, you're going to do some damage today, aren't you? Yes, you are. I think these can handle that. So, Citrine King, come down. And I think we're okay for the start, as it were. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Huh. They really wanted to kill that guy, didn't they? Didn't care about anything else, just wanted to kill that guy. Oh, this guy's got not messing. Ah, uh, buddy. It's okay. Now he's out of the way. Nice one. I wasn't wanting him to die, but it helps that he died. Alright? I'm just saying. Who are you attacking? Oh, there's someone there, isn't there? Don't die! Ooh. Oh, that's not good. We are kind of weirdly surrounded. Very weird positioning going on here. Well, you hit the guy in front. I'll do. Well, he's kind of on his way out. 71. Oh, really? Oh, well. I knew it. You little scumbag. Go lock him down in the middle of the swamp. Do the same with him, wolf. I'll do... Really? Come on! Right in the head. Yeah, go on, why not? Why the F not? Missed it, mate. Right, we need to start making an impact. Oh, that's not what I mean, Rob. Rob! Don't you dare. Great. This is going well. Jesus. Well, he's going to hit Rob. I guess. We need to start making a difference, please. Well, Caravan Hand's doing his, doing his part. He's doing his part. Are you? Probably not. No. Oh, guys. Thank you. Bloody hell. That's better. Come on. Get out of there. Well, rather him than me. Or whoever, you know? Oh, you're running and you're not dead. Damn it. Come on. Right, that was easy enough. God, Igris has turned into a right powerhouse. Wow! The swine's running! We better be careful. I want his stuff. Get him. Yeah, they're only range boys. You're used to them. That's what you are, remember? And they're probably not as good as Jesus! Wet alive. All the words are amalgamating now. No? No, no, attack that guy. No? Alright. Wow. Okay. Well, that is not ideal. It's basically 
Go over there. Go next to the... Oh, you're bleeding out quite a bit. Oh, you silly caravan hand man. Got a knife? No, you don't, do you? Awkward! Very awkward. You point blanked him, that's... Ah, oh, Citrine, buddy. I wanted armor, but... Bloody hell! What is going on? Someone please tell me what's going on. I don't know why I did that. Oh my lord. There you go, some melee damage from my ranged friend. Ah, that's unfortunate. That's better. Apparently, we've got to be careful now. Christ alive. How's it? Igris, not today, all right? Not today. Not today. Or tomorrow. How much are you bleeding now, boy? We're on a timer for Rob. There are only six of them. Five of them left. Uh, I don't have any... Screw it. His armor's screwed anyway. I might get his helmet. That'd be cool. Pepe, don't die to a bad guy. Oh, man. He has been rinsed. Oh, he, he's so dead. <laughs> Careful. Oh, running, are we? Hmm. Don't think I can reach him. Well, that's a damn shame. I think they're gone. Saying that, though, they did, did so much damage to us. Damage to us, man. Holy hell. They're gone. Igris, take a load off. Pepe, you do you. Honestly, just... Pepe, don't die to this little knife bastard. Because I'll never let you forget. We've got three turns before Rob bleeds out. Can we get it done, please? Well, they're running. The only issue why it's not happening is because this guy's in combat. I swear to God, if he bleeds out, I will be not impressed at all. He's almost dead. Let me crack open another beer. This could be a long ending. Back in a second. Well, that was kooky and unnecessary in terms of damage. Look at Igris. Exposed ribs. Rob is actually red now. No, he leveled up. Citrine King, I think you're still getting um, the experience from that thing, I guess. I, I got his helmet. I got his helmet. And that's all it matters. Ah, and I can stop pretending that I didn't accidentally sell... Uh, Roderick's crossbow, accidentally, because I took it out of his inventory and then put it into the regular and then sold it whilst we were in a town. But we got one back, so it's fine! So don't worry about it, Roderick. And we also got a long axe, which I could give to either Steven or Pepe. I guess I'll see who's the best suited for it. What, you're not going to give me anything? Oh, the only thing left is a caravan cart. Could I attack it? It's probably going to disappear, let's be honest. Yeah, I don't feel good about killing just a donkey, you know? Rob, get in, get in the infirmary. You go to A&E. A lot of people are going to A&E. People who don't know, A&E is like the ER, but A&E is, is like the England version. Oh, well, we don't really call it A&E anymore. We just call it emergency services, I think. Anyway, enough rambling. Uh, I guess I'll give you a bit of a break. Sure, I'm injured. You're injured. Tell you what. Here I come. Here I come. I will be a frontliner. Even if I don't have uh, mastery in it. But it's fine. You'll get yours, says the old man. Right. That's the smallest amount of crowns I've ever seen per head. But I want to go up there anyway. So I guess you are paying me to do it. So fine. Got a lot of boys. I've got a lot of knobs in the back line currently. Not having a great time. Also... Welcome to having a two-handed axe, Stephen. Your melee defense is disgusting, so you might die very quickly. Hence why I'm keeping you in the back line for the time being. For the time being. Uh, Roderick, get back out there. You're not injured anymore. 
Although Pepe might be more well equipped for it. Well, whatever. Screw it. I'm a little bit worried about whatever the hell this is. Be nothing bad, please. Well, it looks like we're literally following the damn thing. Whatever it may be. I'll just take the 200 for the completion. That's fine. Okay. So, Igris uh, sort of broke a shopkeeper's place because he's a wild man and he's insane. And the militia have decided to take a problem with it. Now, I don't want to kill innocents at Horn, but I also don't really have enough money to blow on dealing with Igris's forthcomings. So I guess I'm killing some militiamen. Guys, it doesn't have to come to this. You could still leave. Look, I know you've just got two straight shots on him. On our friend Wraith. But, you're all going to die. And it'll be really sad. You're never going to see your families again. Are you okay with that? Are you fine with living with that? See, if you are, keep walking forward. If you're not, leave right now. Because you do not to be you do not need to be part of the machine of war. Go back to your families and live a life worthy of living. No? Alright, fuck you all. Let's kill them. Hey, I said something nice. They didn't listen. Let's butcher them. That's just the way it is. Things did have to be this way. Most of you don't even have shields. What sort of militia bullshit is this? Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? At least take us seriously, man. No? Okay, fine. Wow, you actually hit him in the head. What is with all these headshots? Weird. Nah. <laughs> Not quite. Control, alt, delete. Why would you... Why would you come nearer to him? Why? He's Grim Old the Grim. He doesn't give a shit, mate. See? Told you. What were you guys thinking, you silly billies? Nah. I know this is bad, and I should feel bad, but this is the sort of murder therapy I feel like the boys needed, you know? You know? I know. Right, can we get to that one before? Yes, we can. Nope. Delete. Well, I don't know what you guys are playing. Horn's probably going to hate us after this. Understandably hate us after this. But I'm not paying. Look. I get he's a bit of a dickhead. And a wild dickhead at that. And he ruined one of your shops. But sometimes that's the price you've got to pay for the people who come through your town. Yeah, they're, they're threatening. They, they don't like us. They don't like us at all. Oh, shit! And they don't like us either. They attacked me! What do you want? What do you want? Well, anyway. Well, that's the, uh... Huh? I'm getting out of here! Cheese it! I want to be your friends! No, I'm not attacking their supply caravan. This has gone the complete opposite way to what I wanted. Oh, man. I didn't want to turn on the Northerners, but they attacked me. Not first. I just responded. You know? God damn. Why does Adler Oh, because they're just... Right, okay, fine. Please, just let us go. I am willing to help. Ah, that is my pizza. Okay, so we took refuge at Burgau for a bit. Um... We haven't been murdered yet. I don't believe this has turned around like this. I want to help the Northerners, but they attacked me. I mean, for fair reason. But that's not the point. 
Uh, so I'm going to deliver this to Hammerstead, and then I'm going to, I suppose, take refu refuge in the very, 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 very north-north, where they don't expect to come up to, I hope. And hopefully this dies down pretty soon. I don't want to be fr I don't want to be on the southern side for this noble war. I don't want to ruin this. I'm going to hope there's like a noble contract which I can take to make them go, okay, these guys are all right. Let's not think about the militiamen that they murdered. Because, you know, they're just militiamen. Oh, they're standard contracts. They don't matter. I really hope Hammerstead has a noble contract to take. No, no, I'm not attacking their supply caravans. I'll leave them alone. It's not who we are. It's not who we are. Right, guys? Right. Okay, well. Hmm. Maybe you don't get noble contracts from threatening houses. This is the next problem. I might have to wait for it to die down a bit. What's this one? Just another delivery request going down to Einestead. Well, I guess I'm going to take it just to go down there, as it were. Uh, oh, God, I've got no tools. 247 is fine. Right, well, let's hope by taking this down to Einestead, they chill out a bit. Although, that going to cold from threatening, I think, might take a quick, hot minute to deal with. 130 is not great, but at least it's paying us to go down. Paid off, baby! Alright, sit down. Go on. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's... Yeah, they don't like... What is all the delivery quests? Where's it going? Burg out. I mean, unless you just came from there. And that's... Well, I guess we might have to chill out for a bit. And let it die down before we get involved. And try and help the North out during this war. Because otherwise, we might not get involved at the straight. But I'm going to leave it there for today. It's been pretty wild in terms of the amount of brigands we've killed, and the amount of swamps we've dealt with, and the way this war has sort of turned in on ourselves in a weird way. Kind of a pain in the arse. Is this thing almost over, actually? Now before I forget. Hang on. You know what? Let's keep playing until this is done, eh? Screw it. I'm not leaving! I'm not fucking leaving. But I will walk, walk to Burgal for 410 crowns, so I will do that. Please don't go through Palmoberg. Good, you're going a smart way. Oh, I've got no food. Eh, we might be okay. Oh boy. Kind of feels like we're circling the drain a bit here, doesn't it? Here's some food, because everyone's whining about being hungry. So we're at zero, but we don't need any? That's what I'm gathering? It literally doesn't say you need so many, really. We fixed everything just in time. All right, there it is. No matter what the bow users wish to say, when it comes down to it, there is no greater honor than meeting a man face to face. Each of you with sword in hand or other melee weapon, locking eyes between cross seal in this clash, find a brief respite before one finds their demise. Even in the tournaments, the grand event is not some ridiculous affair like shooting apples off heads or birds out of the sky. No, it is a joust, martial combat, the greatest honor in battle undertaken by the greatest company in the Northern Oath Brotherhood. Now that the company is a sturdy might and main, it is ready to accept its next oath for young Anselm. And you know, the skull which isn't broken, but is kind of broken, to be fair. Okay, well, I think this is a good place to any sort of leave it. We have done the oath. Um, we're sort of at a bit of odds and ends with the northern house. I plan to fix that at the start of next episode, and then start the war with the south. I did say the north and then the south. We're friends with the north, not the south. Get away! Anyway... Yeah, it's not, uh, <laughs> once again, not the sobs, we are the knobs, not the sobs. And it's not Southern Soul Gaming, I don't even want to know that guy. If he exists, if they exist. Anyway, everyone's sort of doing okay, Skylock's now level 4, doing great. Baffle Bogus to living up, almost level 6. Grimold got a better hat, and is not actually injured, which is kind of nice. Your daddy, almost level 8. Me, I'm just kicking back for the time being. Wraith, that sword is doing work. Wolf. You've got the least armor, but you're still alive, so great. Citrine King, how many kills have you got? Has he been here? You've got six kills for 11 days, five battles. That's more than a one kill, two battle ratio. I'll take it. Roderick, man, you're not even using any range, but he's still taking out the trash. But there's still powerful opponent in Vanish was Hex. Understandable. Have a nice day. Eldrak, Cujo's still alive. Good job on keeping that dog alive. You're on 21 kills. Not bad. Hands, 14 kills. Also still alive. Also still living it up. Not bad. At least you can use your heavy javelins again now. 
And Steven, welcome to having a two-handed axe. I'll keep you in the back line for the time being because it does have a range of two tiles and your melee defense is terrible. And we'll hope to fix that. Igris, you've kit hit and destroyed a lot of skulls with that hammer. But man, are you a problem? Looking at you, Igris, you're the reason the North hates us currently. So you better buck up, buddy. Buck up. Bahanian, we haven't really seen you today due to you being mainly ranged and your melee not being fantastic. But hey, hopefully next episode we'll see a lot more of you. Geji, you got injured, but you're doing okay. You did go hungry, which you're going to wow wow about, but hey, it's fine. You have 80 skill now. Pretty good. Pepe, still grand. You drunk bastard. Still living up. You and... I think you and Steven both have 61 melee skill. To be fair, you're both pretty even in terms of being Mr. Axeman, which is, you know, respectable. And Rob, you're not as red as you were earlier this episode, which I'm happy about. Still missing an ear. But please don't get any more permanent injuries. But that's going to be it from me. As always, if you enjoyed this video, check out the rest of the channel. There's a lot more in there that you will enjoy. And to make sure you see when the next time the Oath Takers go for another stroll and hopefully fix them off a bit. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you will get a notification when we do so. And also when we do other videos. Because I'm going to try and catch up to War Tales and Crusader Kings in the next few days. Because I know we've been leaving them to the wayside to play this. Not that I'm complaining, and I assume not that a lot of you guys are complaining. But, you know, let's have a bit of variety, shall we? Anyway, as always, guys and girls, it is ciao for now from me. Have a nice weekend. Catch you next time.